everybody, welcome. I'm Rockin' Robin, and today's episode, I've got my Hawaiian apron on because I'm gonna be making some Hawaiian pineapple chicken. Sound good, doesn't it? Now this recipe is paleo, gluten-free, and delicious. I think you're gonna love it. So I'm gonna show you what's in it and how to do it right after this. All right guys, let's go over our ingredients and get started. First off, you're gonna need some chicken breast. Now, what I did here is I took the chicken breasts that were fairly thick and I butterflied them. So take your knife and just run it horizontally through the chicken breast and then go ahead and pound it out till it's about somewhere between a quarter of an inch and a half an inch thick. This will help it to cook up a lot quicker. Next, I have my pineapple. Now, mine's in a can today. You could use, certainly could use fresh if you want to but this makes it nice and easy. And I'm using two styles here. I'm using crushed pineapple in its own juice and the chunks. I like the combination. I think it works great in this recipe. We'll also need some onions. Now I just did a rough chop here, not too fine. I want the chunks in this recipe. I've got a bell pepper, which I did basically the same thing. And for those of you that are new to cooking, you just cut your bell pepper in half, pull out that stem and then give it a nice chop. We'll also need some fresh ginger. Now with ginger, you wanna take your ginger root and you wanna peel it first before we uh, grate it up. So you use, the best thing to do is to use a spoon, the back of a spoon and just on the edge and just scrape it, it comes right off. Then you use a microplane and you can uh, just, you know, grate it and then measure it with a, you know, scoop it out of that microplane and measure it into a teaspoon until you get the amount you need. We'll also need some fresh garlic. Uh, we'll need some honey. Uh, here you can use I'm using raw, fresh honey. Um, you can add or subtract the amount of sweetness that you want, so it's nice to be able to play with that. I'm using some coconut aminos here instead of soy sauce. For those of you that are sensitive to soy, uh, it's a great substitute and you can get that in your local grocery store. Sesame oil, we're gonna use just a touch of that for some delicious flavor. We'll need some garlic powder, salt, I'm gonna be using some arrowroot, which is a good substitute for cornstarch for thickening up our sauce just a little bit. I have some cauliflower and uh, a little bit of olive oil. So guys, I've started off my recipe here by processing the cauliflower so that it turns into sort of like a rice. That's what it's gonna look like. So I just cut off the florets and placed them into my food processor here. You don't wanna overfill it. Let's keep it about half full and then just pulse away until you get something like this. And it just, it just resembles, you know, rice. And this is gonna cook up really quick. I mean, five minutes and we'll be done. It's, it's actually a little faster to cook up than, than rice. All right, guys, we're gonna start off with our sauce here. I'm gonna start with my coconut aminos. I'm gonna put it into a saucepan, pineapple. This is our crushed pineapple. And make sure you add all the juice in there. We want all that flavor in there. So don't drain it out. Here's the chunks. This one actually has a little bit more juice to it, which is good. We've got the ginger that's been minced up. We're gonna add that. I'm gonna take just a portion of that garlic that I uh, had it uh, minced and we're gonna place that in there. Next goes the honey. Now, like I said before, guys, you can change it up with the honey. You can add a little bit more if it's not sweet enough for you. You know, because we'll be testing this, I'm gonna taste it before you know, I actually serve it with the, with the chicken. So get your honey in there. I'm just gonna put just a drop of the sesame oil, maybe a half a teaspoon. Now I'm gonna turn the temperature up to medium low, and then we're just gonna bring this up to temperature. Once this gets warm and the, and the honey melts, give it a taste and see where you're at. That's nice, perfect for me. I love it, not too sweet, but definitely you've got that hint of sweetness in there. So the only thing left we have to do here now is to thicken this up. Take our arrowroot and I'm gonna add a little bit of coconut aminos to it, just enough to make it um, a little paste. Just stir it around until there are no lumps. Just pour this in slowly, give it a stir, and you'll be able to see that it will thicken up pretty quick. And I'm just gonna cook it like this for about another minute. All right, guys, we're gonna start the chicken now. I've got my stainless steel pan here over on medium high heat. And I'm just gonna put just a drop of olive oil in there. And I'm gonna start placing my chicken breast in here. Now it's gonna stick, so just let it stick. Don't try and move it. It will release once it's ready to be turned over. 
And I'm going to salt the chicken. And I'm going to put a little garlic powder on there. Now you'll find that once the chicken is cooked enough, it will release from the pan like that. See how easy that came up and it gets a nice brown coating. Then I'll go ahead and season the second side. So some of the pieces here guys are going to get done before the others. I cut into it. This one's done. So I'm going to set it on a clean plate. Make sure you use a clean plate. And then I'm going to cut it up into pieces in the meantime. I've got my pan. I like to use the stainless steel pan, guys, because you get all those brown bits in the bottom, and that's where there's tons of flavor. All right, so I'm going to add some more olive oil to this, about a tablespoon or so. I'm going to toss in the onions and the bell peppers, and we're going to cook these for about five minutes until they soften up. A flame on medium-high heat. You see all the brown color here in the onions? That's picked up all those brown bits that were stuck on the bottom of the pan, and this is going to taste amazing. So guys, while the onions and the bell peppers are cooking, I'm going to chop the chicken into one-inch size chunks. All right, now that the chicken is cut up, I am ready to add that little bit of garlic, that fre uh, fresh minced garlic, to this pan. And let that cook for one minute just to kind of mellow out the flavors. Now I'm going to add the chicken back to the pan because now we're going to put everything in this pan and warm everything back up. Make sure it's nice and hot. Now it's time for the sauce. All right, guys, so the last thing we need to do is cook up the cauliflower. So I'm going to put about a tablespoon of oil in there. Let that warm up for a second. And it's starting to shimmer. And I'm just going to pour this cauliflower rice right in there. And I'm just going to cook this, like I said, for about five minutes until it just gets to be a little bit soft. I'm going to add a little bit of salt to it. And a little bit of garlic powder. And that's it. Those are the only seasonings I'm going to put on this. All right, guys, the cauliflower is done, cooked up in five minutes, and here we go. We're going to serve this up. Now, if you want to make, make this with regular rice, you certainly can do that. But like I said, this is a paleo recipe today. And we've got our pineapple chicken with bell peppers and garlic and all kinds of good stuff, guys, and some really delicious sauce. I can't wait to try it. Here we go. Let's dig in. Love those flavors, guys. This is delicious. You gotta get your hula on and make this recipe. Let me tell you, it's got just a ni nice little tang to it with the ginger and the pineapple adds a little tartness to it. And then you've got the sweetness. It's just delicious, guys, really. I hope you guys try it. If you know anybody who might enjoy a delicious paleo or gluten-free recipe, please share it with them. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click the button up there. And uh, I put videos out every week, and so you'll be notified, and you won't miss one. I don't want you to miss a thing. So thanks again for watching, everybody. Do try the recipe. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you like it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.